Did you know that around 77% of U.S. startup founders are white or Caucasian? And in 2020, only 2.3% of venture capital funding went to female-led startups. With the region of Waterloo having the second highest startup density in the world, and you Waterloo being a large contributor, the entrepreneurial community can feel exclusive from this lack of representation. This lack of representation can create misconceptions and become barriers for new entrepreneurs to enter the space, adding to the challenge of navigating a new space and building their idea. The solution we propose is a physical magazine that promotes U Waterloo's entrepreneurship community in an inclusive and diverse manner. Titled Dare Breaking into Entrepreneurship, the vision of the magazine is not only to break misconceptions and encourage students to dare to begin, but also to equip them with resources in navigating the entrepreneurship world. The content covered will include hard resources accessible to students, how-to articles, and will feature unique anecdotes from student founders from different faculties, problem spaces, and industries. Since both of our teams, SoGal Waterloo and UWaterloo Entrepreneurship Society, work in this field, we have certain insights about the space and know about what student niches are being filled and what's still missing. One of the things that we identified as missing is unique stories being shared from U Waterloo's own community members. That is why our approach aims to provide personal and diverse stories that highlight Kitchener Waterloo specific resources and feature founders who have a U Waterloo connection. We hope the 1900 magazines that land in the hands of students across six faculties will empower them to explore more, plan their venture, or start scaling. From some previous events where Sogia Waterloo interviewed Waterloo founders, we found there's a gap connecting Waterloo founder stories with hard resources being provided. Our hope with this project is to centralize all the things the U Waterloo ecosystem provides, including resources, sharing lessons learned, and a community into one space. With the start of expanding in-person experiences, there's a growing need to connect with our community members. There is one way we can do that.